Hello everyone and welcome to The Coding Branch. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can host your own ChatGPT for when ChatGPT is just too busy for you. But first, why did the Edge server go bankrupt? Because it ran out of cash. <laughs> all right, now that the terrible jokes are out of the way, if you enjoy learning how to use AI without all the hassle of putting it together yourself, subscribe to the channel. I'll have many more AI videos where this came from. All right, so in order to build out your own version of ChatGPT, you're gonna need access to the OpenAI API. So let's head on over to openai.com and go ahead and click on the API in the top right hand corner. Next, we'll need to sign up or sign in. If you have a Google or a Microsoft account, it's easiest just to hit continue with one of those. And once you're all signed up, you can click on the logo in the top right hand corner, go down to view API keys, if you don't already have one, you're going to want to click Create New Secret Key and copy that key. You'll want to save this super secret key in a super secret place, but that's all you'll need to create your own version of ChatGPT. Everything else I've done for you. To make things easy on you guys, I hosted the code on Google Colab. Google Colab is super nice because it's free and you can deploy your code in the Google Cloud and because I have it all set up for you, you don't even have to know how to code. Just click on the link in the description below and you're off to the races. If you've seen any of my other AI videos, you'll be familiar with how to deploy this code, but if you haven't, I'll leave a link to those in the description below as well. Feel free to check those out once you're done here. You can clone any voice or make any type of art. Although there is one thing I failed to mention in those other videos. A good practice when entering Google Colab is to make sure you're using a GPU rather than a CPU. And to do that, you go up here to runtime then click runtime type and make sure you have GPU chosen out of the list. Then go ahead and save and you're ready to clone the chat GPT in just two clicks. To deploy this code, we'll need to first add in your super secret key, add it here in the second code block. I know, I know, now my key isn't very super secret and that's okay because I'm going to be canceling this key as soon as I'm done with this video. So be sure to grab your own. Now just click play to install your dependencies. Once they're installed, you should see a green check here beside the play button. I did that earlier so I don't waste any of your precious time. Now, just hit play on the second code block and you've done it. Congratulations. You now have a robot AI helper for the rest of your days. Let's check it out. How can I help you? Well, let's see. Oh, maybe you can give me a list of toppings for a pizza I'm gonna make later today. Okay, okay. Quite concise, I like it. What else can I help you with? You can't. As you can see, I ended my little robot helper. Till next time anyway. If you're looking for all the responses that will end your conversation with this nice little robot, you can see them up here. Typing no, n, no, you can't, or you can't, or nothing, will get him to stop for now. Before you go, if you're tech savvy enough to run this code on your own machine, I'll leave a link to the GitHub repository in the description below. Just clone the repo and you won't have to use Google Colab. I'll have it set up to use a .env file though, so you just have to paste in your API key in that file and run the code with Python on your machine. All right, now that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this type of shorthanded content, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe on your way out.